Patricia Murray Kali, and one, I'm one of those affected with a rare, a rare disease, a rare uh, sort of cancer. And uh, it's a pleasure to be here participating in this National Rare Disease Day. Uh, a little bit about my story. Uh, about four years ago, I was a very healthy, um, active woman. I had my own private practice as a clinical dietitian. I was a very involved mom. I was also a vegetarian, a world traveler. Um, I didn't drink, I didn't smoke ever. And um, I practiced yoga, meditation, uh, biking. And I went to my annual exam with my OBGYN when I found out that I had two fibroids. And I decided to schedule a surgery when they started to grow. And um, after the surgery for what seemingly was a benign fibroid, uh, we found out that hidden in one of them was a malignant tumor, leomyosarcoma. It's so rare that most physicians and a lot of oncologists never heard of it. Uh, it affects one to five people in a million, and uh, because of that, uh, doesn't get a whole lot of funding for research, and there is not a, no effective treatment to date. Uh, very few of us survive, to tell your story. Uh, I have been uh, on about 13 types of systemic treatment so far. Uh, the disease came back after nine months of the surgery, affecting both my lungs, my liver, and some bones. Uh, that's the importance of maintaining regular follow-ups, even if you are in remission, because you don't know when the disease may come back. And the earlier you catch it, the better off you are. Uh, I had been, I had had to travel far to be able to participate in clinical trials uh, that is investigating medications, new medications. I, had, I live in Florida, I have traveled to Boston, to New York, to Mayo in Jack, Clinic in Jacksonville, to Sarasota. Uh, a lot of people do not have the ability to travel, uh, making it more difficult. So the faster we get some effective treatments, the better approved by the FDA, of course. Um, in the meantime, I like to say that despite uh, the ups and downs of treatment, of feeling bad, whenever I feel good, I am going to live life to the fullest, and I hope you do too. Uh, during my first year, I kept a diary that turned into a book. Uh, the book is called My Journey with the Purple Dragon. <laughs> Why Purple Dragon? That's the nickname of Leo Myosarcoma. Therefore, you see he and me were in a purple wig. Now, this book, I'm humbled to say that has helped a lot of people with cancer by the emails and that, uh, that I, I get, um, including people outside of the country um, because it's available on Amazon. Uh, every single penny Every single profit this book makes goes as my contribution to research for cancer. I have supported and will continue to support the National Leomyosarcoma Foundation and also the LMS Direct Research Foundation. Uh, they invested in helping funding research and also education for patients with leomyosarcoma. Um, because I think life should be fun somehow, I do wear this wig sometimes to treatment <laughs> and people smile and that's good to bring a smile on somebody's face. It brings me back a smile. Um, I would like to say that if you allow me, I'm going to pull this wig <laughs> and as you can see, I don't have any hair. This is my third time being bald. But uh, I have decided since last year to make it fun. So as you can see, I have some little marks here. That's henna. So I, I lent my head as a canvas um, to henna artist. This one has a bigger design on the back. 
as you can see. And uh, every time is a new design, and I let the, the artist decide. Um, so I hope that everybody is living a healthy life and uh, is willing to support us with uh, rare uh, diseases and, uh, cons and continue to support research, which is so important. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to have been with you for this short time. Bye.